Welcome to William Carey Wednesdays. My name is Landon Adams and I'm here in our multi-purpose building with Mr. Travis Coakley, our director of bands. Now, Mr. Coakley, there are so many events going on with music. Y'all are always so busy performing for the public, for the university. Could you tell us a little bit about what's going on the rest of this spring? Absolutely. So the Winter School of Music is busy as always, but this time of year, end of year concerts and events, there's a lot of them. Several of the highlights we have coming up, we have our Thomas Hall, our rock band, best rock band in the Pine Belt. They're going to be live at 5 on April 19th. We have our uh, Pops concert, which is our patriotic concert, combined concert of all of our bands. We're going to be performing on Thursday, April the 25th. It's going to be on the mall behind the uh, King Student Center in the Tatum Court area. Open to the public, it's free, it's going to uh, honor our service men and women. It's going to have patriotic songs, America the Beautiful, and we want to invite all the public to come out. And then finally, Thomas Hall again, our rock band, is going to be at Laurel on May the 4th for a concert day in the park. Very good. Now, these are just a few of the events going on in this Pops concert. There's some, some new things y'all are trying with it. It's going to be outdoors, I believe, for the first time. That's right. And I think that you have a guest helping direct the band? We sure do. So in addition to being outdoor for the very first time and some food trucks that are going to be available, we have a guest conductor at the end of the concert, none other than Dr. Ben Burnett. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so it sounds like y'all are going to be engaging our university and the public with a lot of musical talent. And so what does it mean to you to be able to invite so many people to hear the hard work your students have put in throughout the year? That, that's exactly it. The students here are phenomenal. They're phenomenal people, they're phenomenal talent, and we love to showcase that at any point. And we just want the public to come and see what a special thing we have here at Cary.